boy, my name's Georgia, and if I could choose what I could eat, I would be a vegan. See? I don't eat meat anymore because I'm a vegan. No, nope. who needs meat? Not me. I certainly don't need meat at all. Hey guys, welcome back to Allie Can Cook, featuring Mama McManus. Hi, I'm Mama McManus. And I'm Allie. And on today's episode of Allie Can Cook, we are so excited because we received our package from vegansupply.ca. Which, yes. Yes. Which is a vegan, I guess like online grocery store? Yeah, it's an online site where you can order vegan food. And, and certain things that we haven't really been successful at finding locally. So this is really exciting. Well, vegan Supply is a Vancouver based company. Yeah. But, and they have a whole bunch of just different vegan products listed on their site that you can order from. And we express ship this bad boy over to us uh, for this video because we wanted to try out some of the different vegan products that, yeah, we don't have access to right. at our grocery stores here. The way that Vegan Supply works is that they have a whole bunch of products listed on their site that you can browse through. It's not just food either. They have like beauty products and stuff like that. And then you can order it. And the one thing that I will say about it is it is a little bit pricey to order because you do have to pay for the fast shipping since we did order some perishable items. Yeah. Yeah. But the way they, but it wasn't really that bad. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. But it definitely, if you're gonna order, I would order in bulk and try out a bunch of things, um, just to get the most bang for your buck. But what they do is they send them with uh, cold packs and they package it and they ship it pretty much. I think they ordered it Tuesday night and it came Wednesday night. Wednesday night. Yeah. yeah. So it was like a day turnaround time, and we're in Toronto, so. But if you are in Vancouver they do allow you to do pickups. So this would be a great option for people who are out west. That's right. The really cool thing is that we found vegan eggs. eggs. Yes, so this is gonna be a two-part series video. So the first one, which is what we're filming today, is we're gonna just try out the different vegan products that are kind of self-explanatory to make. So for example, we have gourmet cookie mix that we picked up locally from Oakville. I just kind of threw this into this video because I thought it'd be cool to try out. And so these cookies, what's interesting about them is that they're all natural. They have gluten-free flour, dairy-free chocolate chips, organic evaporated cane syrup, organic natural oils, organic tofu. So these yeah. would be kind of interesting to try out. And this was at a local organic store in Oakville. Yes. The, the organic garage, I believe. Yes. It. So that I'm excited cool. about this. Yeah. Then we also picked out this Mykonos. Uh, vegan garlic herb cheese and what caught my eye about this was a the packaging although I will say it does look bigger online I was kind of surprised when oh, I saw really? this small yeah it looks way bigger oh, it looks online like free cheese so yeah. that's about the size that it would come in and I thought yeah. free cheese comes in that but size. this is garlic herb double cream cheese and the reason why it's I like thought free cheese it is it's not like free cheese well Free cheese is like double creamy. No, I'm thinking this is like the Bourguignon cheese. Oh, you think it's that? Yeah, I think oh. this is gonna be like a cool well, cheese. Well, we'll see when we open it. Yeah, and try it out. Okay. But what caught my eye about this one was uh, what was in it. Because when you eat cheese here, I kind of think of like it as unhealthy and just not that great for you. But in this cheese, you have organic cashews, filtered water, organic coconut oil, organic parsley, organic rice, rice miso. Oh, rice water. I like that. Yeah, organic herbs, sea salt, like everything in this is so natural and not something that's bad for you. So I thought that would be a cool vegan cheese to try. So cheese and crackers with a little bit of fruit on the yeah. side. Yeah. And then we also got um, meat free crispy chicken. Uh, this is a mandarin orange. No so wonder you didn't eat dinner tonight. She's not going to eat dinner. Yeah, eat dinner tonight. you're going to be taste testing. Taste -testing. Taste -testing. I didn't realize um, we had chicken, crispy chicken. Yeah, crispy chicken. So the reason I thought this one would be kind of cool to try was because it has 12 grams of protein, which if anyone here is trying to eat vegan or is a vegetarian, your protein is not tough. Having people ask you about how much protein you're getting, where do you get your protein and blah, blah, blah. And you need protein. And you need protein. Okay, well guess what guys? Here's my protein. And FYI, protein comes from plants. So relax. Yeah. Anyway, so I thought this would be kind of cool to try. And then we also got these artisan vegan burgers, sweet potato and black bean. Another really cool product. The woman who makes them says 
In my kitchen, food has to deliver big, bold flavors. Gourmet cuisine begins with the freshest and highest quality ingredients. It's all about embracing the veggies, not pretending to be meat, which I think is a really cool mantra to go by. Yeah. And exactly what you did with your... With the burgers that we made. Yeah. yeah, so I thought we'd try this out. Again, all of the ingredients in here, black beans, fresh sweet potato, fresh onions, organic gluten-free oats, ground flax seeds, fresh parsley, apple cider vinegar, sunflower oil, potato starch, tomatoes, fresh carrots, Salt, fresh garlic, black peppercorn, smoked paprika. Oh, that is wow. all that's in here. There's no, can I can read it all. There's no confusing <laughs> all the uh, Exactly, which is like awesome. And none of this stuff was super expensive. I mean, the cheese I think was a bit pricier, but these were all like four, five dollars, like nothing that's gonna blow your budget or your bank. And then our last one, which is not gonna be featured in today's video, this will be another video that you guys will have to check out is the vegan egg. I don't want to say too much about this, but what we're going to do is probably like a first impressions trying out the vegan scrambled egg. But anyways, we are going to try out all this stuff right now. We're going to cook it up because it is fairly straightforward, straightforward of how to do. And then we'll come back and we'll, a taste test. Yeah, and we'll taste test it and let you guys know what we thought. Okay guys, so we just quickly whipped this all up. Our cookies are actually in the oven right now, still baking, so we'll bring those out in a couple minutes. Which will be for dessert. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, and we have vegan Ben and Jerry's ice cream. We can make cookie sandwiches. There you uh, go. Innovation. But remember, this stuff smells great. Yes, it actually smells so good. So good. Super easy and fast to whip up, very organic. So do you want to start with the cheese first? Yeah, absolutely. What are you most excited to try out of the cheese, this? actually? Because I'm thinking it's going to taste like green. Yeah. I don't think it, I think it's going to taste like the Borgo yeast. It's very smooth. Can I have that one? Yep. Thank you. It's very smooth and you need to cut. And attractive looking. Yes, it does. Like, if I, I think if you put this cheese on a cheese board, nobody would. No one would know. Yeah. All right, you ready? Cheers. Cheers. Definitely the the cheese that you were saying. Mm -hmm. It's strong. It's, it's strong. Me. But it's not bad. No. Glass of white wine. It's more garlicky and like herby than I would say creamy, and that's because there's no cream in it. But mm -hmm. I still like it. I like this. You're right though, but you can taste the, the herbs. They're strong. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. I just kinda like it a lot. Well, that's the thing, thing too, right? When you're eating, when you're changing the way that you eat and you're introducing new flavors, it takes a little bit of time to adjust. So you shouldn't no, try something right. right off the bat and go, ugh. Yes. Yeah. You know, yeah. Try it a couple of times and uh, so long as it's not terribly yeah. disgusting, but if you're on the borderline, sort of give it a little bit of a chance. Yeah. These cheeses too, they're like, we just got the herb and garlic one, but they had a bunch of different options too. And it, it tastes like a cheese. It does taste mm -hmm. like a cheese. It it's just cheese stronger, sure. garlicky flavor, but it's still good. I still recommend it to people. I no, I do like that now. Yeah, I would be interested to try it more than Miko. Cause Miko, oh, I can't pronounce it. But that brand of cheese has a lot of different types as well. I just picked this one cause I thought it'd be the most basic test out one, mm -hmm. but it is, I was really good. Okay, Definitely. we're going on to the rest. Yes. All right. Let's try already. I was cooking these. Very excited about so these. Good. These are like little chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets, but like healthy chicken nuggets. I'm taking these to support Mm-hmm. Okay. Mmm. Oh, for sure. Mmm. These are really good. Mm-hmm. Your lunch for With tomorrow. With the sauce. Mm-hmm. Mmm. You could probably do lots of different things with this. Mm-hmm. You can put um, green onion on it with some sesame seeds. Uh -huh. Ooh, that was really good. These are like That's crispy. A winner. Yeah, these are like crispy chicken nuggets, but chicken. And they're healthy. They don't have any bad things in them. Again, everything we ordered Actually, pretty much was healthy. They taste like chicken. <laughs> yeah, they're no, they really taste, taste like chicken, like like chicken nuggets. Yeah. And they're um, they're guarding, and I feel like 
I'm gonna link down below also all the products that we did get. But I feel like these you could also maybe find in a grocery store. We just have to look for them. These are good. I like these. Those are really good. Mm -hmm. All right, now the burger. So this was the uh, sweet potato and black bean. And I did make that amazing black bean burger myself, so. We put the vegan cow cheese on it that we use for our grilled cheese, mm -hmm. and also some vegan mayo. That's incredible. Yeah, that's really, really good. good. That's, that's insane. Really good. That taste I like, that has the. I think the sweet potatoes makes that. Yeah, and it has the texture of a burger, mm -hmm. and it tastes like a burger, especially with the toppings. Yeah, it's really good. The lady who makes this brand of burgers also makes other types. This was just the one that we tried. Yeah. But it was really good. It's really good. You heard me read out the ingredients. It's all natural. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so definitely so much fun. huge thumbs up, because this was all our vegan supply stuff. Because the cookies were from a place in Oko, but thumbs up to all of these things. Would 10 out of 10 recommend ordering from Vegan Supply? Yes, absolutely. It was really great customer service too, super fast. It is a bit pricier if you're farther away from Vancouver, but if you're looking just to get like bulk up on a lot of this like frozen products you just throw in your freezer, mm -hmm. thaw out whatever you want, I think it's definitely a great resource. Well, and also too, I think when you look at the ingredients, it should encourage you to maybe make your own. Because I didn't, when I made those burgers, we didn't put sweet potatoes in our burgers, we put mm -hmm. rice. So maybe you might want to put sweet potato into the burger recipe that we posted yeah. just a little while ago. And just experiment. And just experiment and see what, see what, it, mm -hmm. what you think. But definitely in a pinch. Yeah. Oh my goodness. These are great. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Do you want to try our cookies now? Yeah. So our cookies just came out of the oven. I don't know about you guys, but I like myself a warm cookie. A little chewy and gooey. Mm -hmm. They held their shape really well. Super quick, 10 minutes. Yeah, these have tofu in it, so it should be interesting to try. I want to try them with more chocolate. Okay. Okay. Ooh, nice and warm. Mm -hmm. Really good. That was very, very good. My chocolate on my face. This is amazing. This doesn't taste like a vegan cookie. They taste like the Pillsbury Doughboy. No. Mm. Yeah, they do. It's better than the Pillsbury mm -hmm. Doughboy. So, this taste test was definitely a success. I would recommend ordering all of these things. Mm -hmm. and do you want to say maybe what your favorite one of the whole thing mm -hmm. was? What was your favorite? It's hard to really say what my favorite one was. Um, I think the burger was my favorite. Burger? I really was pleasantly surprised that a frozen burger that we pan fried tasted so amazing. Mm -hmm. It was so good. Yeah. I think that my favorite food that we tried was the crispy chicken nuggets. Because I didn't, I stopped eating chicken nuggets because I was like, ah, oh, I'm too old for this. Those are friggin' good. And I would eat those a hundred times again and they're like i think they were four dollars for us to buy mm -hmm. there was nothing and then after that the cookies Alrighty, guys so that is it for this taste testing video we hope you guys enjoy you are interested in seeing what we think of the vegan egg and a total first impressions video about how we make the scrambled eggs and what they taste like Check out our next video because that's what we're going to be taste testing right. next. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. We make new videos every single Thursday, trying out different vegan products, showing you our favorite vegan recipes, coming up with vegan recipes on our own. Yes. And yeah, so as always, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys next week. Bye guys. Bye guys.